Commonwealth tonight. A fallout over a student threat in Trustful. The Hewitt Trustful principal now on administrative leave until further notice. And the decision from Trustful City Schools after the district and city leaders say the principal and only two others knew about a student's death note from a year ago and didn't tell police until last week. Trustful City Schools made the announcement about Tim Salem this afternoon in a statement. Assistant Principal Joy Young will take over as the acting principal. And tonight, concerned parents packed a city council meeting to sound off about how the district handled these threats. WVTM 13's Chip Scarborough live in Trustville, where he spoke to folks directly impacted by these threats, Chip. Guy and Sherry, parents and loved ones of those students on those so-called death lists were at tonight's meeting. They say they're especially upset to learn about these threats, especially given that some of them were made nearly a year ago. One round of applause after another as parents filled the trustful city council chambers on Tuesday evening. Parents supporting other parents as they express disappointment and trustful school leaders and their handling of a series of threats at Hewitt Trustful High School. We spoke to some people whose loved ones were named in a death list. You definitely don't think something like this hits this close to home. Um, you know, for my nephew to come home, he, he has been handling it very well, um, to my surprise, but I can also see that he was stressed out to be told that not only was your name in a hit list, so to say, but that this person can come back to school in potentially 20 days. One death list dates back to October 2021, but those who were on it say they didn't know about anything until just a few days ago. It was scary uh, because I got a phone call from him and the first thing he tells me is that I'm with the cops and I'm like, what's going on? He said, well, someone wrote a list and my name is in it. Some parents say it's not just the principal who should be facing disciplinary action. Either way, they say there have been some serious missteps over the last year. It was handled as if it was a joke. It wasn't taken seriously. Now, how is it that all of these things can be going on for this long um, and now they still know where they are? And because of the large crowd, not everyone was able to voice their concerns to city leaders. And how can you move forward with your child in a school and not feel like they're protected? Um, but I think that we do have to um, do our part to make sure that they feel safe. And the crowd was so big tonight that police actually wouldn't let us in the room at first for safety reasons. Many people had to wait outside and watch the live stream of the meetings on their phone. Live in Trustful tonight, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13. Chip, thanks. Well, earlier today, Trustful Mayor Buddy Choate called the incident a lack of communication on the school's part. He says a student complained two weeks ago about that other student making repeated threats and he would do harm at the school. The school resource officer was brought in to investigate about a week ago. What I have learned is we can't let someone make a judgment call on something like this when it's very obvious that that needs to be turned over to the people that are experts. And hopefully, and, and like I said, we're gonna insist that that kind of information never be withheld because someone thinks it's more of a fantasy than a reality. You can read the latest on our WVTM 13 